Hello everyone and welcome back. I've got my little sidekick outside with me helping. Welcome back, welcome to whatever it is for you. Um, today, as you see by the title, we're just going to do a heap of jobs that I really need to get done um, and take you along with me. So, let's start with the first job. Now, I've already started it. I do this all the time. I think I should film and I should show what I'm doing. And then I get such limited time to do it, or as Joe say, I get distracted, which is very true. <laughs> and I start one job and then I run off to another job. And that's what I've done today. I've started one and I've already shifted to the next without even bringing you guys along. So let me turn you around and show you what I've done for the first job. My first job was to pot up these lupins. First time growing them. I was a little bit worried because someone said like they're... Um, not invasive but I thought they were toxic to certain animals and like a pest now I had these in like a paper cup and I think that's my mistake I've left them in the paper cup too long I watered it and fed them and I am pretty sure they have rotted off so I'm gonna stick them in there and I'm actually gonna go through my seeds and find the seed and I'm gonna pop it in there and see if I can't get them to grow hopefully it's not too cold yet but that was my first job still yet to find the seeds but at least I've popped them in there for now. My second job is to do some sweet peas so I'm doing um, like ornamental ones to go all along the fence which side note distraction you guys it's a completely different location I haven't taken you along for that yet I don't know that I'm going to in this one but I most certainly will all right we will show you because I've still got so much to do at the other house we own that um, so I obviously still have to maintain it all till we decide and do what we're going to do there. But back to the sweet peas distraction. So I've got four different varieties today, which I will show you all of them. Um, and I'm going to be sowing them in the thing. I want to get them started first. Obviously now is the time to sow. They're probably going to stay quite small for quite some time. And then in springtime, they're going to cover an entire fence. I'm very excited for that. Um, I am also, I did try and direct sow some sugar snap peas, um, which I haven't seen anything pop up yet. I think it's because obviously the dirt that they're in out here, I hadn't added in any compost or wetter soil, which I have been doing to most of my plants that I've been popping in. And I didn't in the vegetable patch that I popped these in, well the garden bed, sorry. And so I think that that is not holding enough moisture and they haven't germinated yet and it did also change in weather quite quickly and we've only had a couple of hot days so those I'm also going to try and start in the seed trays um, and so sugar snap ones and snow peas so I want to add them to the veggie patch this year we did sugar snap last year but not snow peas so I will show you what I'm gonna do I'll probably just do a little quick time
Okay, job done. I Let's take you over and have a look at what we've done. I've popped them all in their spots. So, in here is our snow peas and sugar snap peas. Oh, and I've just got them in my milk carton one because even though technically those ones back there could all come out and I could use the green trays, well, these work just as well. Um, that's my version of a humidity. If they don't pop up, then I will take them out of that and swap them into the other ones. Um, this one, Macy has super kindly already stolen my marker and the humidity dome, which this was sweet pea early prolific. So the very the picture of the actual packet, the seed packet that had a picture on it. So we'll put dome them back up. This one is Mammoth Choice. Sorry, this one's Mammoth Choice. Um, I'll pop a picture up. Then we also had Spencer Mix and Bijou Mix. Bijou? Bougie? I don't know. Mix. And yeah, that's this job done. Next job. Oh, let's get some lighting there. We are planting in some tulips and daffodil bulbs in a pot. I unfortunately, Jason bought me some tulips when we went through a town that had like a tulip festival kind of thing. Um, and I left them in the pot, but it was just like a cheap plastic pot. There goes the artichokes that have just been ripped out. I'm loving this age with Macy, but it is testing. Thankfully, I have a spot that I was already planning to put them. And the reason she has tipped them out is because I had just gone through and tipped out all the old um, seed. <laughs> all the old potting mix where the seeds didn't start. So she watched me do that. So, but I just got to remember that. Um, as I was saying, yes. So uh, he got bought me three beautiful purple tulips last season. Two popped up and I could tell they weren't very happy. So I thought, oh... Are they going to come back? Unfortunately, I dug them up about a week ago and they had rotted. So, and strangely enough, the ants had actually, um, were going inside them. I don't know if they were going to make a nest in them or they were eating out the rotten bit. I have no idea. Very, very strange to me. And yes, I'm sporting some extremely dark hair. My regrowth is beyond overdue. Um, but you know, these things happen. So let's put up these tulips I'm going to try something different where I actually pop some pansies tansies something on top as well because I want something pretty out my window um, it took me a long time to find this locate to figure out the location that I wanted I was either gonna pop them here where it is because then my kitchen window is just right behind and I don't mind the simplicity from the top pot to the bottom pot um, in saying that I don't love that nearly every pole has some pots at the bottom so if I don't love it here it's going to go out by the side door that I'll walk past. So helpful! Aren't you so helpful? Have you just stolen all of my bulbs? <laughs> Alright let's get into it. A side note because I'll try that supposed to be soon after to watch it but I bought some premium potting mix only because I couldn't get my usual cheapest stuff because I wasn't heading down south and um, so this was like double just over double the price of what I normally spend and to be honest I'm a little bit disappointed it has um, it has a lot of rocks in it and like like quite large chunks of like wood which you know I'm kind of like well if I'm spending over double the normal price then um, I kind of expect it to be a bit nicer and I must admit the soft parts of it is nice and probably nicer than the cheaper stuff but I was expecting a lot lot better for the price Anyone who lives rurally will understand me. Birds ugh, keep chewing off my parts. Uh -uh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, where'd you put the bulb, Boo Boo? Okay. 
So the type that we are using, I just got these from Bunnings. So a daffodil delangash. I am kicking myself. I actually had found like a bulk supply place um, and I had gone on sale for tulips um, and daffodils and I did not get it in time. So, and then the next lot we're doing. <laughs> I see why now I've not filmed in a while. <laughs> I love my little helper, but trying to film and do and little helper is a lot of hard work. Mine. Tulip. Mine. Add rem. Mine. They're yours, are they? Mine. Okay. Are we going to put them in the pot together? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Ready? Thank you. Okay, let's put them in this pot. Leave the camera there. Uh, uh, leave it there. No, no, thank you. Ah, 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 First thing we want to do is make sure pointy end up, this bit down, that way. I can't see if you do it that way, come around here. Come around that way, there we go. Mama. All right, this is what, uh, this is what we've done. Pop them all in, hopefully they'll stay. I'm gonna cover it with dirt pretty much right to the top. Oh, let's keep it up the right way. And then we'll pop the other ones in. <gasps> okay, you ready? Okay, we're gonna pop in some pansies. Lacy Lady. I've got a couple of blooms on there. I might actually mix in. She's looking a bit sparse, but we'll give it some water, some food, and we'll see how she goes. If not, I do actually have some alyssum that I can bulk it out with. All right, now I think this might be the final outside job of the day. Yeah, I think it's gonna have to be. I really wanted to get a couple of trees in and fill some garden beds, fill another area, but it's way past it. It's time to start going inside. But let's pop on down to the veggie patch. You guys haven't seen this yet. I'm going to show you from a distance because we struggle here really badly. Gosh, I'm looking worse for life. Um, really badly with 28 chewing stuff off. Now, I will eventually show you a new garden bed. It was kind of already established, but nothing was in it really. Um, but not today. The, when I tell you the 28 demolished nearly every single thing I put in there and so I bought this like um, reflective tape and so it makes noise in the wind and when it flaps and shines because I've heard like CDs work. Macy's just having a great old time. Um, I popped this on a few trees that they went mad on and it worked really well. If a plant does not have it on it they don't care that the next plant has it, they're in there. So my veggie patch, I'd popped it on my tomatoes and they hadn't seemed to touch them. My beans have all popped up and I was getting really good growth on them. I just went down to check it then and they've light chewed 
three of them off. So my father-in-law bought me some bird netting. I'm gonna go chuck that over there to help because we're not about this life. So come on.